Thor, the 2011 superhero extravaganza directed by Kenneth Branagh, falls far short of the thunderous spectacle it promises. While it boasts impressive visual effects and a star-studded cast, including Chris Hemsworth as the titular Norse god, Anthony Hopkins as Odin, and Natalie Portman as Jane Foster, it ultimately fails to deliver a coherent or engaging narrative. One of the film's major flaws lies in its inconsistent tone. Branagh attempts to blend Shakespearean drama with modern superhero action, but the result is a jarring mishmash that never quite finds its footing. The scenes set in Asgard, with its grandiose palaces and regal inhabitants, feel disconnected from the more mundane earthbound sequences. This disjointedness makes it difficult for viewers to fully invest in the story or connect with the characters on an emotional level. Another issue is the lackluster character development. Thor himself is portrayed as little more than a brash, arrogant warrior at the beginning of the film, but his transformation into a more humble and compassionate hero feels rushed and unconvincing. Similarly, Jane Foster and her team of scientists are woefully underdeveloped, serving little purpose beyond providing a romantic subplot for Thor. The film's villain, Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, is perhaps its most redeeming quality, but even he suffers from inconsistent writing. At times, he's portrayed as a cunning, manipulative mastermind, while at others, he comes across as little more than a petulant child throwing a tantrum. In terms of action, Thor delivers some impressive set pieces, particularly during the climactic battle between Thor and the Destroyer. However, these moments are few and far between, and they're not enough to make up for the film's other shortcomings. Overall, Thor is a lackluster entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, failing to live up to its potential as a thrilling superhero epic. With its muddled narrative, uneven tone, and underdeveloped characters, it's a forgettable addition to the genre that's unlikely to leave a lasting impression on audiences.